Great leaders. The school newspaper asked two students to write their opinions about a great leader in history. Olivia chose Abigail Adams. Anthony chose W.E.B. Du Bois. Read both essays. What makes each person a great leader? Abigail Adams, Strong Woman, Strong Leader by Olivia. Abigail Adams was a strong leader. She was focused on getting things done. I hope you will agree with me. Abigail was the wife of our second president, John Adams. Many women didn't have a good education then. Abigail couldn't go to school when she was little because of illness. She was very smart though. She learned things on her own. She studied history and politics. Abigail and John Adams. When John was away, Abigail took care of her normal chores. She did John's chores too. She even bought and sold land. Back then, only men did those types of jobs. Abigail felt strongly about women's rights. As the United States was forming, she wrote a letter to John. She wanted to tell him to tell the men to remember the ladies. She felt women should help make the laws if they had to follow them. Statue of Abigail Adams and her son. She also wanted girls to be able to go to public school like the boys. She and John often spoke about these things. He had respected her for her ideas. Sometimes he would take her advice when making decisions. Because of this, some people called her Mrs. President. Boys and girls go to school together today. As you can see, Abigail Adams did things that were unusual for women in her time. She helped her husband make decisions for the country. She talked about rights for women. She did jobs around the house that were usually done by men. Because of these reasons, I think Abigail Adams was a great example of a leader. Statue of Abigail Adams in Boston. W.E.B. Du Bois was a powerful leader by Anthony. I think W.E.B. Du Bois was as important leader in our country. He worked to change what he did not like. He wanted to help others and he did. He also earned the respect of people around the world. W.E.B. Du Bois. In 1895, W.E.B. Du Bois graduated from Harvard University, one of the best colleges in our country. He was the first African-American to earn a special degree from there called a PhD. He led the way for others who wanted an education. While most people spend four years in college, W.E.B. Du Bois chose to stay longer. This shows he was a hard worker. Harvard University. W.E.B. Du Bois had many jobs throughout his life. One of those jobs was as a teacher. In a way, teachers are leaders. They set examples for how their students should act. W.E.B. Du Bois. W.E.B. Du Bois felt strongly about people's rights. When he moved to Tennessee, he found that some people did not have the same rights as others. This made him sad and angry. He tried to fix the problem. W.E.B. Du Bois wrote papers and gave speeches about equal rights. He became a famous supporter of equal rights. Being active in the community made W.E.B. Du Bois a better leader. He knew how to reach people. W.E.B. Du Bois expected a lot from himself and others. He was a good role model who showed others how to make positive changes. I think he should learn from his actions. If we do, we can all be leaders. Don't you agree? Mural of W.E.B. Du Bois in Philadelphia.